So on the left hand knob, uh, you push in on that and that's going to allow you to change your airspeed bug. And again, that's just for your uh, reference. We kind of went over that a little bit in an, earlier, uh, in an earlier video. But that's for your reference. I can dial in whatever airspeed I want. It's going to put a bug up on the airspeed tape. Now, since we're in auto course, it doesn't allow me to change the course. If that wasn't in auto, um, we, could, we could set the course there. I'm going to come over here to the other knob and show you the functions of it. So I've got heading, and you just start turning the knob, that's going to bring up your heading bug. And notice on our heading bug, we give you a little dash line out to the bug itself, so it makes it easy to identify where that is. If you hold in on the knob, it's going to sync your heading up to the current heading. Push in on it again, it goes up to your altitude alerter. And your altitude alerter is set the same way as your airspeed bug, where you just roll in whatever altitude that you want to go to. If you hold in on it, it's going to sync up to your current altitude. And it gives you an alert when you're within 15 seconds of that altitude as you're climbing or descending. And also, once you hit that altitude and you get more than 250 feet off, it gives you an alert. Let's go over uh, some of the soft keys here. And uh, notice right here on this first soft key right underneath the menu uh, button, it says one of two, two of two as you push it. So those are just more... There's more things available. Uh, so come on down. I want to look at the menu, uh, minimums feature. Minimums feature, I use that almost every flight. And if I'm not shooting an approach, I will put in the altitude of the uh, 1,000 feet above the elevation for the airport I'm going to. And what that does is as, as you're coming down the glide slope or as you're coming up on the altitude, I'm going to roll it up here to where I am here at 14,000 feet. Uh, you'll see this chevron, this green chevron, so imagine we're descending, you get a green chevron that lets you know you're 500 foot from the minimums, uh, the yellow one is 100 feet from minimums, and the red and yellow, as obviously it's going to be minimums, it's going to light up yellow and chirp at you to let you know you've hit the minimums, so that's the minimums. Down here we got 360 and arc view, just different layouts on the HSI. That's uh, just a customizable thing. Everybody likes uh, something different. GPSS, you activate and deactivate right here. So if I turn GPSS off, now the heading bug's going to be active, and the autopilot will now follow the heading bug instead of GPSS. Once I push it on again, autopilot goes back to following the uh, flight plan out of, out of the GPS. And you'll get the indication right here. It says heading GPSS1. Now if I push it, notice it goes to the actual heading that I've got dialed in with my heading bug. And hold in on it, syncs up to the current heading we're at. That tells you you got two different things telling you what mode you're in. Come down to Barrow. Activate Barrow by pushing it on the knob. Now I can roll in whatever the current uh, altimeter setting is.